The government of the Virgin Islands and H. Lavity Stout Commemorative Committee staged a musical tribute at the Eileen Parsons Auditorium on March 3rd as part of celebrations to mark the 13th annual Hamilton Lavity Stout Day. H. Lafferty Stout led the territory during its development as an international finance center and was described as being very passionate and committed to the development of educational opportunities for the people of these islands. More in this report. The first Monday in March is observed as a public holiday in celebration of the anniversary of the birthday of the territory's first chief minister, the late Honorable H. Lavery Stout, born on March 7, 1929, and died on May 14, 1995. Addressing the musical tribute, Premier of the Virgin Islands, Dr. Orlando Smith echoed the contributions of the territory's visionary leader and first chief minister. During the Lavity Stout era, if I may call it that, the BVI grew tremendously. Clinics were open in all districts. The fire department was established in Rotan with smaller stations elsewhere. Tourism flourished, roads were built, opening up the entire territory to development. And the BVI built its first community college. This college has now proudly bears the name of the man who fought for it. It was important to restate Mr. Stout's achievements because there are new generations being born who never knew him. They may not know that many of the features of life in the BVI that they take for granted were born out of his vision for our people. Mr. Stout was very fond of the verse from Prophet that states, where there is no vision, the people perish, and he quoted it often. That verse was at the heart of its philosophy for public for public life and, ex and, and exemplified what I consider to be his top guiding principle. The territory celebrated the life of the late Honorable Stout as a national hero of historic significance, who is notably remembered as saying, where there is no vision, the people perish. Leader of the opposition, Honorable Ralph O'Neill, says Stout's phrases should be memorialized. What I would like to see also is a collection of the various phrases that Mrs. Stout used. And it would be most interesting if some of, some of the poets today who knew him so well would compile a, a record. One of those sayings was, one enemy is two. Too, too much. And he had quite a few of them. Often credited for leading the territory into the financial services sector, the late Honorable Stout was a lover of jazz and classical music. This admiration for the performing arts played a major role in the development of music in the Virgin Islands when he fostered the establishment of the BVI High School Band. Education Minister Honorable Myron Walwyn noted the contribution made by H.L. Stout and his family toward the BVI's development. In financial services, for instance, where we are under enormous pressure internationally, if it wasn't for that vision and that drive of H.L. Stout to have persons like Mr. Robert Mathavius go away and improve his education, and persons like Mrs. Lorna Smith, we would not have been able to navigate and maneuver the way we've been able to do to keep our financial services going. So we have a lot to thank Mr. Stout about. Have you ever thought about what life would have been here in the Virgin Islands without social security? Persons, stop a while and think about that. And you had persons during that time who opposed it because sometimes when new things come on stream, we oppose them, but now we can see the wisdom and the benefit in those decisions. We have to also thank the family of Mr. Stout. I want you to give them a round of applause as well. The musical tribute delivered on its promise to offer depictions of Mr. Stout's life in poem and other special features from artists such as Nicole Donovan, Andrea Norman Flax and Ruben Chinnery. My people, he called us. He always lent a listening ear. Yes, 
He was a people's person, a gentleman, sincere. And he got a virgin goddess, just Van Dyke, each southern key. His personal touch extended far beyond his constituency. Sailing in a BVI, we're gonna go sailing. Very young and talented musicians also joined the seasoned performers on stage. And Alyssa Harrigan, Jeremy Vanderpool, Kenzie Baltimore, Trinity, Rita and Cassandra, among others, imbued the audience with their harmonious voices and renditions in honor of the first chief minister. I'm flying happy free. Prior to the musical tribute on Monday, March 3rd, the annual official wreath laying ceremony was held on March 2nd at the Capoons Bay Burial Ground. Sean Rose, JTV News.